Hey guys, Wix here, and in today's video, we are starting off in the truck, and that's because I'm going to be going to the bank right now to pick up some cash to pick up the supplies that we need to get the fire truck build started. So I've been searching for steel everywhere, and I almost pulled the trigger on buying it online, but I went ahead and asked a friend and looked online for a local steel distributor, and I found one, and it saved me hundreds of dollars. Like, seriously, hundreds. Shipping it for online was almost like $400, which is insane just for shipping. So luckily I was able to snag a really good deal on a bunch of steel to start building this frame and the whole exoskeleton of it that's going to be underneath body panels that'll be on sometime down the road once this is all done. We're going to be building it from the ground up, the inside out. This is definitely going to be a really, really big project, but I just feel really confident about it. I feel like I have a lot more knowledge than I did last time with the NASCAR because I just taught myself on that, but now I know a lot more. So let's go ahead to the bank now and uh, start grabbing the cash. So we can go ahead and rent the truck because it is really long still. And then we'll be on our way back here to gather all the supplies. Pretty disgusting, not gonna lie. Scratch off ticket, maybe it's a winner, but I'm gonna have the place cut the metal in half because obviously we're not gonna be able to fit 20 plus feet of metal in here. So we should be able to fit like 12 feet. I don't even know how that opens. 12 feet from the back of it, maybe if we have to clean it up here too. But we'll just see what happens. has been acquired it's all perfect for exactly what i need looks really good but uh once we get it unloaded and everything and return the truck i'll go ahead and explain to you guys like the specs and everything and what they're going to be used for so guys we are back the van is all returned and as you guys can see i got all the steel in the uh shed just packed in here for right now because it is supposed to rain tomorrow so if this is outside it's gonna rust pretty bad because it is steel so i do want to wait until i know that i have at least two days of good weather before i go ahead and start working on this thing and i'll go ahead and explain why so as you guys can see from here to there is 12 feet i got two units of 24 foot uh rectangle tubing this is three by two by 11 gauge thick i'll show you guys how thick it is on the end so it's not too thick that it's going to be like really hard to weld and cut and everything like that but it should be perfect i was contacting a bunch of companies and asking them what i was doing and what you know would be the best deal and i told them the weight that this thing is going to have on it and i got this recommendation and i could tell because this thing really <laughs> does not bend whatsoever and what these are going to be are the frame rails. So this thing is going to have frame rails just like a fire truck and just like frame rail vehicle, like a pickup truck and stuff like that. And the reason I did this shape is because one, this is basically the shape of a frame rail in a vehicle. And two, this shape is very, very strong, especially from the front. So if any type of hopefully nothing impacts were to happen from the front, it is going to have a lot of support. And I'll go ahead and uh, show you guys a little example right here. So this is just a little sketch I was drawing up about basically what I wanted to uh, do, you know, frame rails. And yes, this thing is going to be estimated about 16 and a half feet long in order for me to be able to proportionally make the cab even with the little cab on the back where all the storage and the hose goes, because I do want to be able to fit at least four people in this thing so driver, officer, or passenger, and then at least two people in the back. I think that'll be really sick. But I'll go ahead and show you guys a little example of what I mean about this shape. So if I go ahead and just fold this little piece of computer paper in somewhat of equal manner and set it up similar to this shape, and I'm not even going to use tape to do this. I'm, I'm going to let the break in this shape be open like that. If I take this container of bolts and just sit it right on top of the computer paper. 
this computer paper could hold up a whole container of bolts even with a huge slice right in the structural frame of the paper it can hold it up no problem doesn't need any tape or nothing just like that so in the event if anything were to happen like i said there will be a lot of support and plus what i like about this is the flat surfaces that it'll be nice and easy to mount the body onto it so it comes time to do that and over here we have the tubing i got it all stacked up right now but i'll go ahead and lower a piece down so i can show you guys the thickness so right here we have our steel piping that is going to be a structural part of the frame and along with the body it is a 1.660 i believe inch out of diameter with a 1.4 something inch inner diameter and i believe it's a 0.14 inch uh, wall thickness so definitely pretty thick i believe it is thicker than the engine mounts on the NASCAR. Yeah, that definitely does look thicker. So it should be able to definitely hold its own. I feel like I, maybe I did a little bit too thick for what it's gonna be doing, but honestly, the stronger, the better. So basically my plan is to get the frame going first and get it as a rolling frame. And I might have to pick up a like donor junk go-kart or quad or something to kind of rob steering components off of. It all just depends on what I can find. And I'll probably end up just getting a whole little axle setup from probably like Go Power Sports or something like that. But like I said before, I want to wait until I have a good forecast ahead of me so I could go ahead and really work, you know, outside of the shed. Because obviously it is pretty tight in here for all this big material. And it is going to be getting even bigger once the frame is, you know, beginning to take shape. I might also look at some better welders too. Because I know a lot of you guys were saying that in the comments. And I've been kind of saying that in the back of my head too, so... In order to get maximum strength, maximum penetration, probably going to have to upgrade. But honestly, I have enough material here that I'm probably going to have a ton left over. And I can probably just, just experiment with my welder and just to see how good it can actually do. Push the limits on it. So guys, I know definitely a uh, little bit of a shorter video here. Just kind of gathering the supplies. If it was going to be nice out tomorrow, uh, then I'd say let's get to work. But don't want to rush it and then it get completely drenched and then completely rusted out because... This stuff will rust very quick if, you know, exposed to moisture. But this is basically all we're going to need just for the beginning to get the whole shape of the frame set up. We might actually be able to get the frame done in one video. I am going to gather some more tools and everything, but I'm just going to do that off camera. But some more equipment, so I'm not going to go ahead and just, you know, figure out that I need something to run out and storm run back and keep running back and forth. I want to crank this thing all out. So with that being said, next video, you guys can expect the first video of the build with cranking everything out with this frame allowing it to begin to take shape and uh form this little well big i guess i should say fire truck go-kart thing that's gonna be awesome so with that being said i'm gonna be ending off the video here follow my social medias they will be on the outro of this video instagram and snapchat i use the most but thanks for watching please subscribe and comment tell your friends about the channel oh.